Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. It's Monday night. I don't know what this shave is called. It's a Monday night shave. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope your week is good. Hope 2020 is off to a great start for you. Let's get into the shave. What are we going to use? Well, we're going to be using What the Puck by Razor Rock. This is the uh, orange flavor. It's got a very uh, synthetic, tangy scent. Tang like the orange juice tang from back in the 70s. Astronauts drank it. Super hard, triple milled soap uh, for the brush. We're going to be using the It's Just Shaving Mad Hatter. This is the 20, 2018 group brush. For the razor, we're going to be giving it a go with the Naked Armor Solomon Straight Razor. It's been a while since I've used it. It probably needs to go back to the stone, so it may be kind of a rough shave. If it is, I'll switch to something else. And for the post, we'll be using the Nivea Men's Almost Gone. Going to finish that up tonight. And we'll be using the Uncle John's Iceman Citrus Freeze um, for the splash. All right, let's get going. Yeah, so it's a, it's an unusual Monday shave for me. Um, I didn't do this Silky Smooth Sunday because I had a shave on Saturday. Because as I mentioned before, me and the, the, uh, my lady friend, Went to the city to the south to enjoy the day, and uh, it was a pretty good day. It was it was a really good day. Um, ate some delicious Mexican food. Wandered around. Uh, wandered around the little Mexican market. Saw like tons of like you know earthenware goods and cups and trinkets and tchotchkes and. Beautiful like Mexican sundresses and all kinds of cool stuff So that was a uh, it was good like So we had a delicious lunch at a place called Mi Tierra, which is kind of world-renowned Here in Texas It's got a delicious restaurant and bakery um, It's definitely a, a uh, tourist hot spot And uh, We just so happened to be in town during the, uh, there was a museum exhibit on the Day of the Dead, so we got to check that out, which was very cool. Um, so, wandered around that exhibit, had a really good time, saw pretty things with a pretty thing. So, um, I was really excited. We had a great day. And, uh, yeah, so, my 2020 started off great, but I had to have a shave Saturday because I want it to be presentable for the for the day. So no shave on Sunday. So I'm making up for it tonight. And I haven't used this soap probably since I first got it, if then, <laughs> to be quite honest. I remember one of them. I, I have the lemon and the lime and then I had the blue flavor and I shipped that off to Spencer Frank over and I don't know, down under somewhere? I don't remember uh, where he lives. Australia, I think, but it may be New Zealand. So if I get that wrong, don't crucify me. Um, but anyway, he got the blue, he got the blue puck on a, uh, on a secret gifting. He was really excited about that. I was really excited to send it to him. So anyway, so I used one. I don't remember if it was the lime or the orange. It's a pretty good soap. Lathers up real easy, as you can see. This is actually probably still a little bit dry. For a straight razor shave so um but yeah i remember it being a good soap easy to lather slick enough razor rock makes good stuff you guys know that the question is is will my razor be sharp enough that is the question we're about to find out that's for sure all right get all the soap off yeah, so anyway, it was a good weekend. Had a good time. And uh, today was the off day, so. Uh, nope, that is not smooth at all. Needs to go back to the stones. So. Let me dry that off. I feel like I caught my ear too, so. 
Hey, no blood. Sorry, I had to get into the mirror so I could see. I don't feel any blood. I think I just caught the corner. Give me one second. Let me get reset here. All right, so as always, these videos, sometimes you gotta change stuff up on the fly. We're gonna be using the Bluebeard's Revenge Chevette with a Gillette Silver Blue Half Blade. This will be the third use on this blade. Oh, I did scratch myself a little bit. Lucky there. I don't know, everything felt wrong about that first stroke. Happens sometimes. Luckily, I'm shaving at night, so I'm not going to go to work all bloody and get my nice white uniform shirt bloody. All right. Yes, much nicer, this one. So, yeah, today was my, uh, my regular day off. Spent the day running errands. Doing meal prep. I started that last night after church. Because the holidays are over and it's back to uh, meal prepping and exercising. I took about a two week diet and exercise break. Just to kind of give my body a rest. Increase the calories. Didn't really count or manage anything. Just kind of tried to eat sensible portions. Not overeat, not binge which I did pretty good, but nothing was off limits. I ate cookies and cakes and candies, fried chicken, delicious Mexican food. Um, yeah, man, so we were down in, uh, we were down in San Antonio and I had the restaurant we went to had goat, Mexican style barbecued goat and I love some cabrito, and man, they did a good job with it. Um, so I was really excited. It's another thing that made the weekend great. Or at least the trip down, anyway. So yeah, and I managed to not have any crazy binges or anything like that, so I kept my weight under control. Um, did kind of bloat up to... 191 pounds this morning, but that's no big deal because I ate fried chicken for for dinner the other day, and then last night I had some delicious barbecued uh, ribs. Well, not barbecued, but some uh, some ribs that I made in the Instapot, lathered them with some super spicy barbecue sauce, and then baked them off in the oven so they were nice and crispy. Had a nice little caramelized crust on them. Had those for dinner last night. So, expected to be a little on the bloated side today from the salt and stuff. So, it's good though. I am happy with it. And today was back on the wagon, Meatless Monday. Did my workout. 20 minutes on the, uh, the step bench. A little resistance training with some exercise bands. The total gym is folded up in the back. I believe I may be getting rid of that when I move. It's another thing I did today. I uh, canceled the lease on the current apartment and went and signed a new lease on another apartment. I think I mentioned to you guys I was planning on moving in February. So, end of February, March, beginning of March, you guys will see a different background when I shave. Looking forward to the new the new place. The apartment is going to be about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. Price is going to be very comparable to what my new lease would have been if I'd have stayed in this location. But I am going to be 10 to 15 minutes from work as opposed to 30, 25 to 30 minutes. So I will be saving a ton of money on gas, time, and toll fees. So I'm very excited about that. 
Moving stinks though. You guys know that. I mean, I think I think Red Island Shaver Justin is preparing for a move. So everybody knows moving is stinks because packing and cleaning and accumulating and all that stuff is it's a, it's a hassle. But it will be so worth it in the end. All right, first pass. Aside from the scratch on the ear from the Solomon razor, everything is working perfectly. Yeah, this soap is great. Very slick. Nice chemical-y orange, synthetic orangey smell. But it reminds me of my childhood drinking Tang on the rare occasion that we got it. All right, second pass. What else? That's pretty much it, man. Told you guys that the lady and I are gonna go see the Chinese opera in February. So today I went to go buy a new suit because all my suits are way too big for me now. And I have to say I was very disappointed in both of the places I tried. Now granted, I'm not going to custom suit makers or anything like that, but these are uh, not low-end suit sellers by any means. But I walked into two different suit stores today and was ignored by the salesperson, the salespeople in both stores. Because I walked in looking like I look, you know, um, in jeans and a t-shirt that was probably a little too big and tennis shoes and I just got ignored and I wandered around to each store for at least 10 minutes put my hand on a lot of suits made it very obvious that I was not just browsing and nobody paid me any attention until I was walking out at one of the stores as I was walking out one of the salespeople I was like, hey, how's it going? What can I do for you? I was like, nope. Or I lost a chance. And I was looking to buy at least one new suit for the uh, for the Chinese opera. And probably another one so that I could have a suit for church. If that fits. So you guys lost out on some money. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put the stores on blast because they'll never know, but anyway. It's pretty frustrating. And that always kind of goes back to, you know, back when I was a younger man and probably a little more extreme in my looks, being judged by how you looked and what kind of clothes you wore and, you wore and what your hair looked like or didn't look like or whatever. That, it always bugged me. And it still does. I mean, and it's not even look like I look like a hoodlum these days. I just look like a sloppy 40-something-year-old guy. But oh well. There are, more, uh, there are more suit sellers in the world. I've got a little over a month. Or actually a little under a month. So i got to get this done so I can get it tailored to make sure it fits right and all that good stuff. But I am excited. I am excited. My lady bought her a nice fancy new dress for the opera. She's been dying. <laughs> she's been dying to show it to me. It's kind of funny because she. I told her no. I was like, make it a surprise. I want it to be a surprise. What you look like in that dress? She's gonna look amazing. So I mean, that's a given. But uh, yeah, she's really excited too. So it's gonna be a good time. Can't wait. February second, Shenyun Chinese Dance Orchestra Opera. Not exactly sure what to call it, but it's gonna be amazing.
just added a little bit of water. Get a little extra slickness for this last pass. What else? New Year's was pretty uh, uneventful. Came home from work. I think I told you guys already. No, this is my first shave of 2020 on the, on camera. Came home from work early. Messed around and then fell asleep at like 10:45. <laughs> you know, New Year's is kind of one of those things. Like if you don't drink and you don't, it, then there's really not much going on. Um, and then the next day on New Year's Day, we typically have like a little get together. My brother hosts a little shindig at his place. I probably talked about this already. He didn't host it this year. I think he was probably invited somewhere else and didn't host. And so I didn't have anything to do on New Year's Day either. Just kind of hung out at the house. It was pretty good though. Is this? I no. I think I did tell you guys about my New Year's Day, not going to my brother's, hanging out with the lady watching La Bamba. I feel like I mentioned that because I think Manny commented about really enjoying watching La Bamba. Yeah, I think I did talk about that. I'm telling you, man, sometimes these videos run together because my life is kind of uneventful. And since I just ramble off the cuff, I sometimes forget what I've already talked about. So, if I'm repeating myself, you guys are hearing stories you've already heard. My apologies. Yeah, I do feel like, I do feel like we talked about that, because that's what I did on New Year's Day. Spent some time with the lady, watched La Bamba. That is the face portion of the shave. It's not bad at all. Get rinsed off. Yeah, I think aside from that, that cut there, we did pretty good. All right, let's get this head shave going. Let's go back to the puck a little bit here. So yeah, moving into the new apartment, I'm going to have to get rid of the old total gym. kind of makes me sad, but my buddy, uh, my buddy is going to take it off my hands and he said, hey, if you get settled in and uh, realize that you have room for it, just let me know and I'll give it back to you. But he's been cur curious about trying one, so I figured it'd be a good way for him to, to get a hold of one for very cheap, like free and uh if he likes it, cool. If I need it back, he'll give it back. It's going to work out good. So, yeah. Now comes the hard part. I've got just, to, you know, until the 28th or 29th of February to get all my stuff sorted and packed and ready to move. No bueno. You guys are probably going to hear me crap about that a lot in the next handful of shave videos. But... Like I said, you guys know, I talk about what's going on in my life and that's what's going on. New lady, work, move. Exercise, weight loss. It's like the same five topics. I was talking with the folks at church the other day telling them about the move and they were like, you're not buying a house? I was like, oh gosh, I wish I could, but I'm still not quite there yet. Um, and, uh, 
I still do not quite, have not quite convinced myself that a single person needs a house. I know it's a, a better investment than throwing away money on rent, but there's just something in my guts that says a single guy doesn't need a house unless he's going to rent out rooms, and I'm not going to do that. So wasting money on rent in an apartment is, I guess, what I'm going to be doing until I can reconcile that in my gut that owning a house is a better choice, which I know it is, but like I said, there's just something about it that just keeps me from pulling the trigger. Maybe it's the fear of having like 30 years of debt because right now I'm debt free. I've been debt free for, I don't know, since 2016, I think. I bought my truck in 2012. I paid it off in like three and a half years. So 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. I've been debt free. Before that, I was debt free for like 10 or 11 years. So, and I know a house is an investment. It's not a true debt. I understand that too, but like I said, in my broken brain, it's debt. And debt is bad. I know. I know. It's not. Not wise. But hey, it is what it is. Okay. The first pass on the melon is outstanding. Yeah, this soap, like I said, you don't expect anything less from Razor Rock. It's good soap. The scent could, like I said, it's kind of a fake imitation citrusy smell. But the performance is good and it's just kind of a gimmick. So, no problem. The uh, Uncle John's Citrus Freeze will more than make up for the fake orangey scent and the soap. And I think I've, I've seen that Razor Rock is doing shave sticks now, kind of a triple milled shave stick. I, um, maybe even the same sense, the aqua blue and the, I think there's a black label one, which is like a fougere scent. And uh, I don't know if the citrus one, the citrus scents made it into the shave stick. But I saw, um, I saw, uh, who used one the other day? Mr. Chawa. He's another, he's a YouTuber that not a lot of people, I don't know, I don't hear a lot of people talk about him. He he does shave videos, he does cigar smoking and talking uh, videos, um, but he talks a lot about politics, and I think that may be one of the things that limits some of his viewers, but he's a good, he's a good YouTuber. He's interesting to watch, um, so... If you if you want to watch a dude shave and smoke and talk politics, give him a give him a, a look. See, I think I've mentioned him before, but uh, I enjoy watching his channel sometimes. I really like to watch his smoking videos and just listen to him wax philosophic about politics and stuff. He makes me laugh. Super ultra conservative. But not for that content is not for everybody. And while I can't say I agree or disagree with everything he says, he's at least interesting and thought provoking. And being an ex-smoker and someone who used to really enjoy cigars, I get a little satisfaction out of watching someone smoke a nice cigar. <laughs> makes me uh, makes me a little jealous. But it is what it is. No cigars for me. So yeah. All right, well, that's the shave. There's a lot of nonsense rambling. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Let me get rinsed off. All right. Yes, fantastic. I should put splash on first. I always do that because I don't always use splashes.
but I always use lotion. So. Oh well. There you go. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys and gals so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the shave. I did. Even that cut is gone already. So have a great week. Have a great weekend. No matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family. It's really important. I'll see you next time, probably on Thursday for the Thursday Scrape. Have a great week. God bless. We'll see you next time.